In today's video, we're going to show you how to make your own thumbnail using GIMP Shop. Welcome to the show. My name is Domingo. Now, my videos are not just live action. I excel in tutorials because, let's face it, this voice can put you to sleep no matter what. Anyways, we are going to get started by making our first thumbnail. Now, I won't go too much into detail. I'm just going to tell you how to get set up. I will be making other videos about this as it goes along. So, we're going to go and start making our just thumbnail, just basic thumbnail. So, we're going to go click File and then New. And then we're going to set our image size to 1920 by 1080. And then we're going to click OK. So there is our base that we have right now. So what we're going to do next is we are going to set a, a, a graphic. So we're going to go and select our blend tool. And then we're going to select our gradient graphic. Let's just go, oh, deep sea is nice. And then what you do is you select your gradient tool, click to the corner, go to the other corner or however you like. And then there's your gradient. Then you can do the same with bottom to the top looks pretty good already and then you can also set it to the center now that looks even better so now you got your gradient set up here you want to insert a picture so for the sake of time we're gonna go file open as layers and we're gonna select our picture and then we're gonna click OK so there's our picture here and we're not gonna set a gradient on the picture no we're not and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go move and we're gonna move the picture so for the sake of time we're just gonna move it over there because I am going to probably make another video about it on how to cut around the picture and then that's it. So then we're going to insert our text. So what we're going to do is we're going to click our text tool here and then we're going to click inside here to make a new layer. Now the text square is really small to start so what you do is you have to click on the corner and make it bigger so that it allows you to type it in. So then what you do is you click inside the box and then you type in whatever you want awesome awesome and then we're going to go and search for a font so type in W and it'll give us a font that we want but for the sake of time we're gonna go and press O which is Obelix this is my favorite font that I like to use and there it is we're just gonna select Obelix again here there we go and then this is well this will allow you to adjust the size of the font by clicking up and then there is the text that you have made and then you can change the color by highlighting the text clicking the color bar and selecting your color and clicking OK and there is our text and then you use the move tool to move the text however you like and then you can use the rotation tool to rotate the text however you like here and rotate there you go now you've just made your own YouTube thumbnail at this moment so you've got your text and your graphics in there and like I said, I'll make another video on how to make it so awesome and detailed. So let's say you've done your thumbnail. You then click File and then Export. So then what you do is you type in the name of your thumbnail saying Thumbnail Test. And then what you're going to do is you're going to select Pictures. You're going to select Save Pictures or however folder you like. And then you're going to click Export. And then Export Images PNG. Yes, we'll do. Then you click on Export and it'll start the exporting process which appears here and we're just going to speed it up for the sake of time all right so once you've done that you can click on close and we can close without saving and then we're going to go into our folder where we save the thumbnail so we're going to go save pictures there, da, 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 and there is our thumbnail we're going to open that up there it is now yes it is a little bit crude but this is just for time's sake so everybody thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any other questions or if you want to know certain things about GIMP shop leave me a comment below and don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe for more content so thank you very much for watching and remember gang we are one step closer to world domination have a wonderful week.